Hello folks, this is Dave from MeRC and uh, I'm working on a new project here. Sorry about the lighting. I wasn't really prepared for this. It might look a little blown out, but it is just the camera from my laptop. So just looking at the bench here because I wanted to show you what I'm working on. But just let me move this over here because I want to show you this plane that I've ordered. This is MeRC. There you go. There it is right there. So it's the Volantix Ranger 2000. You can see it right here. And uh, this isn't a website where you order things. This is just my blog. So if you want to see what's going on with this project, I've got a bunch of stuff on it down here. But you can build along with me if you want to order all these parts. I don't know if you want to do that. But right here is my blog address. So it's just Dave Merck dot blogspot dot com pretty simple so if you want to go there and look at my blog you can see I'm working on this Volantix Ranger 2000 right here admittedly I don't have the plane yet it's on order Hobby King says the order has been processing so the order has been processing for about a week maybe 10 days something like that it's just sitting there saying it's processing it'll probably say the order's complete once it shows up at my doorstep maybe that's how it works I don't know but I just wanted to show you some of these parts okay so what I was thinking about using for the flight controller is this mini Pixhawk see if I can get it around there yeah mini Pixhawk right there I had this on a quadcopter before, took it off, and now I might use it on this Volantix glider. I think this will work really well, and it's got the Minim OSD right here already plugged onto it. All this stuff has been tested. There's the GPS. Now, I may change the GPS out later for a different GPS. I don't know. But this one works. It's a U blocks, I think. And I think it's got the uh, Russian satellites, too. This, if you can see right there, is a LawMate video transmitter. I'll just get it out here, put it down. There it is right there. LawMate video transmitter. And it comes with one of the heaviest antennas I've ever picked up. Feels like it's got a lead weight in the base of it right here. It's really heavy. I don't know if I'll be using that antenna. I've got another one in mind. This is a dipole, and that's what I'll probably use for the video right there. I've also got another one here. This is the same kind, but it's just got a little more flexible cable on it. This cable's a little more flexible. This is the stiff kind. You just bend it to where you want it, and it stays there. So I might use one of those two dipoles. This LawMate uh, video transmitter is 1.3, you might call it, 1.3 gigahertz, but it's really more in the 1.2 gigahertz range here in the U.S. because I can only use 1258 or 1280. I don't have it here, but I'm going to use an easy UHF probably for the long-range receiver. So this is a fairly big glider. It's a 2-meter glider. I guess that's about a 6-foot wingspan. And uh, unlike the Raptor, this, this one here doesn't have the tendency to tip stall and crash, hopefully. Now I've also got a couple of these, which are Cricut Pro V2 video transmitters. If you're into mini quads, you might have heard of these. They're very nice. I just got them to experiment with. There's a couple rows of LEDs. It has smart audio, 48 channels, really nice little unit, and a couple of buttons to select the frequencies in the band. You can also change the power level on it. It'll go up, I think, 25, 200, and 600. I plan on changing the motor because the Hobby King kit comes with a motor, but I've... I like Sunny Sky Motor, so I've got a Sunny Sky Motor right there that I'll probably use. So that's a power module for the Mini Pixhawk at the top right there. And here's a couple of the four cell batteries that I may be using. 
either the 3000 milliamp hour or the 4000 milliamp hour four cell batteries. There's the motor right there. It's a 2216-1250 kV and that should match this plane pretty well. That's kind of the, the size that's on it. The kit comes with a similar size, but this has better bearings, runs a little smoother. There's the Law Mate that I just showed you, the VTX. And that's either 500 milliwatts or 1,000 milliwatts. You can select it, which power you want. And there's more on it. There's the switch settings. And you can see here in the U.S., let me scroll this up a little bit. In the U.S., you can only use these two, the 1258 and the 1280. So that's what I've got right there. So I just thought I'd give you a little rundown on what I'm going to be working on soon. I've got more stuff coming in. Hope to get this thing going. And this is my vlog, like I said, up here. I'll put a link to this under this video so you can take a look at it. Okay, so that's just what I want to show you for now. I don't think I have anything else in the box right now. Still got more stuff on order. But we'll talk to you later about this project. This is just an introduction, and I wanted to tell you about the blog. So if you want to build one of these, it's the Ranger 2000. You can get it from Hobby King or Banggood. I think Gearbest has it. Stay tuned for more, and I'll talk to you later.